Sky here what's going on YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're not in my home theater. And this is this is not me. This is JP here. We're in his home theater. He lives next to me and he actually proposed the idea to come down and do a tour of his home theater. This is K Pace Guy's first ever tour going to somebody else's home and taking a look at their home theater. Usually we do subscriber showcase where you guys send me your stuff and I put it on my channel, but we're in the home of JP. He's let me crash here for a little bit. Family's home too. They let me take over the place for a while. And we're gonna look at his clips two channel setup. JP, how are you doing, man? You all right today? I'm good. How about he you? is 16 years old. I'm doing good, by the way. He's 16 <laughs> years old, man. He's probably one of the younger few on my channel. I think my analytics says most people are between the age of 25 to 45, 44, and there's a few 60s in there, but I got a 16 year old here who is just as much in love with music and home theater as I am, so I'm absolutely glad to be here. JP, man, how did you get into home theater at such a, a young age, man? So, um, <clears throat> it was about four years ago, and me and my dad, I didn't know anything about speakers, and me and my dad went to a flea market uh, nearby, and we were walking around, and we saw these people that had just a, they had a store, and there was nothing but subwoofers, yeah. and they really didn't have anything else. It was more like car subs, mm -hmm. but I, I didn't really know, and... So I was like, oh my gosh, that looks cool. Can we go in there? And he was like, no. And I was like, can we go in there, please? Please, oh my gosh, please. And he was like, okay, finally, whatever. And I was looking around, and they were playing these demos through these yeah. these subs. And I'm like, oh, that sounds so good. And I was like, can we get them? He's like, no, it's too expensive. And I'm like, please, please, oh my gosh, please. I don't I don't know why I wanted to get them. Mm -hmm. But, I, I mean, like I said, I didn't know anything about them. Right. But... I really wanted to get him, and he's like, sure, whatever. So we did some wheeling and dealing with the people, and we um, we brought home a 8-inch uh, Infinity Sub, about 5 years old, and a 10-inch Alpine uh, Black Sub, and they are both boxed. They yeah. had uh, treatment inside of them. And I took them home, had speaker wire, I set them down, and I was like, what now <laughs> so i had the speaker wire sticking out of them i don't know what i expected i guess i just expected them to you know just well because i am play something so <laughs> now i um realized i need to get something so we went to goodwill and i found a cheap little piece of junk um i guess it was a stereo receivers a jvc yeah and it had two um speaker uh, spots on the back where you can plug it in. And I was like, perfect. So I plugged them in, and I uh, got a phono uh, red and white or red and black. Which one is it? Red and black. Mm -hmm. Red and black to aux, and I hooked, hooked it up to my iPhone four at the time, <laughs> and I played some music and nothing but bass. Couldn't hear any vocals, <laughs> nothing. It was just bass, and I was like, okay. So I, I racked that for about six months. Then eventually I got some Panasonic tiny little speakers, mounted those on my wall. Yeah, I racked that for a while, and then about, it was summer of 2020. I heard of Klipsch because I went to Best Buy, mm -hmm. and I heard their uh, reference system, and I was like, oh, that sounds good. Yeah. So I didn't have a lot of money. It was like 90 bucks. I got the pair of Klipsch's cheapest bookshelf speakers, the R41Ms, set those up right around here, back there, on a little media stand. Got those and the subs playing at the same time. The subs were not great. They barely did any bass. They were, you could tell, but you know, it wasn't that great. <laughs> and got them both playing, and they're they're pretty good. And in summer of 2021, I had racked about, I guess it was about $800. I had the stash. I upgraded big time. I got the speakers I have now, which I'll um, talk about in a second. I'm really happy with the thing I have now, the stuff I have now. Good. Long story short, 
I, it's just been, it's been about four years, and I, I'm just really blessed with what I have. I'm 16. I'm just, I'm really blessed. That's so, awesome, man. Journey. Well, good deal. So you see he has a story in it, and then, man, it doesn't end. Throughout the rest of your life, you're going to go through so many different speakers and subwoofers and projector screens and whatever, all the way until you, it's said and done. So the journey never ends, but it's nice to see you know getting started at 16. It's a fun hobby, I'm telling you what. It's, it's, been, it's been fun for me, for sure. So guys, I'm gonna hand it over to him. We're gonna go through his home theater system. It's actually a dual purpose room. So one side is home theater and gaming and music. One side is his drum set and stuff like that. So we're gonna let him kind of walk us through his home theater and we'll see you guys at the end of the video. You ready? He's not ready, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> That's his ready voice. <laughs> Let's get him ready and we'll see you guys in a second. I've been holding that in for a <laughs> Alright, so I've got this side of the basement, which really isn't the, the main side. This is where I do my drums and um, vocals. Not vocals, but. Um, I'm not over here very often. This is just where I play drums. It's not my main focus, the theater part. I've tried to split it into two rooms because I've got these acoustic sheets here. My attempt of acoustically trying to make it two rooms. I'm, i got to put two more on this side. But as you can kind of tell, I don't know if you can hear the echo, but there's a lot of slap echo in here. And some of the drums are at the school, so it's like a half drum set right now. But it, it, it's a mess in here because, like I said, I'm never in here. I um, cleaning this room is not really my main priority. I know I, I should, but I got my in ears. I use these because the drums are so loud. I plug these into my phone adapter because you know I have an Apple phone. What kind of person would you be if you didn't have an Apple phone? <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> but um, I've got these in-ears, I put these in, they, they get really loud, I really like these, these are only like $20, but I use these, and um, like I said, the drums are just really loud, not much acoustic treatment in here except for these, and I guess um, the back side of the acoustic sheets on that side of the room, but yeah, I got my drumsticks. Vic Firth, um, I really like these. They're pretty beat up, but they're really light. I love playing drums. About 13 years now. Besides home theater, drums, I love my drums. I got some random stuff over here. Pictures of me and my little female friend. Picture she's painted, um, case, and then collectible boxes, photos of us and stuff. Then I've got, for some reason, I've got a nice little orange domino. Um, I got this about two years ago at Five Below, and it actually feels really squishy. It's really nice. Like if you have like ADHD or some kind of stress issue, just, or like if you're giving birth, just squeeze one of these things. It's real nice. But um, random stuff. I really don't even know what these are. Evan's drum head box, like I said, it's just a mess in here. This is not the main occasion, that's the main occasion. Um, I may be in here once a week, maybe. I mean, that's maybe stretching it. I mean, obviously I walk in here, but I don't really do anything in here, but once a week. Collectibles of drumsticks, um, these are cheap ones. Those are my primary ones, like I said. Random pencils, like I said, this is not the best part. Random monitor stand. I don't know either. That's fan, ah, acoustic sheet pant thing. I need to put this up. I don't know. Let's go to the theater side. Okay, so on this side, like I said, this is the this is the main side. This is your main occasion. You're not going to have random stuff sitting everywhere. So number one. Acoustically wise, I've definitely put a lot more effort into this side. You've got two inch acoustic thick, acoustic sheet. There's one over there I'm gonna put up. Couch, carpet, stuff, and you can just tell. Definitely not as echoey in here. So starting over here, I've got, uh, I've got a lamp for my projector that I need to put in. I don't know why that's sitting there. Okay, also, 
Beside that, you've got a BMW painted canvas. I love BMW. My girlfriend post uh, painted me this. I like cars too. I like theater, home theater, drums, and cars. That's my thing. Um, and painted me BMW, favorite car company. Also painted me Klipsch, which is really thoughtful. Um, love cars, love Klipsch, which are my speakers. And I, I think this is really good, almost spot on. And I've got some banana plugs sitting here. Um, really love banana plugs. They're really convenient. Oh my gosh. They're super cheap too. Oh my gosh, why wouldn't you get them? But um, way easier than unscrewing, trying to get the wire in there, it falling out, pushing it back in. Rather than just putting the speaker cable and the banana plug and just, it's way nicer. It's an investment about as good as Bitcoin. So <clears throat> here we've got a um, first projector. I'm gonna upgrade probably to a Sony VW60 ES as soon as I get the money. Um, probably my, ne my, my next investment besides the center channel, which we'll get to that later. But this projector, it is, it is really good for how old it is. It's from about 2009 and I mean, I don't really have many complaints besides the lamp, which is why I have that lamp sitting there, but it's like 200, 200 bucks on Amazon and it's really not that bad. Um, it's kind of small. It's like I said, it's from like 2009, but it's my first projector. I got it like three months ago, but I'm not complaining. Today and yesterday, I just got these um, cable manager stuff. These are way nicer. I used to have, there's probably some pictures that he'll put on, but I've got, I, they used to just dangle everywhere. It just looked bad. Spider webs everywhere. But recently just took the time to get these. You can kind of see a little bit. I ran out of it, so it's kind of pouring out here, but it's, I, way nicer than what it used to be and then behind I'm not going to open it but behind these blinds I have some weather strippers 10 bucks on Amazon for like 20 feet way nicer used to rattle a ton kind of still do rattle but really nice and then over here at the media center this is where it's all at um, haven't been able to use it yet um, as soon as I get a DVD player I will but I've got a DTS-X, um, or just DTS, 4K Ultra HD, um, demo disc, um, really love this thing. Um, I've heard really good things about it. Like I said, I haven't seen it yet. Forza Horizon 4, Injustice 2, Xbox One obviously, and then I've got all of the Lord of the Rings movies. And then I'm, um, I've got a Roku, and I've got an Xbox One. Don't use the Roku very much because Xbox One has everything I need. I've got an Alexa. I've got an Echo, whatever. An Echo Dot. Fourth generation. This thing's really nice for what I use it for. And actually, it's all off right now as you can see. But when, I, when I'm coming in here from, I mean, I wake up, I come in here in the morning, I just say, Alexa, turn on the basement. Okay. Everything turns on. I love this thing. It's an, uh, every, a whole ecosystem. I've got two um, Amazon smart outlets. They, they just literally just plug straight into your outlet and then you plug whatever you're wanting into the Echo, I mean the Amazon smart outlet and then you sync it to your Amazon app and then sync this to the mm -hmm. app. And then I've named, there are two different ones. I've named this one basement, so I say turn off, uh, Alexa, turn on or off the basement, and it'll do what I okay. want it to do, like it just turned everything off, I think, yes. And it's just really nice. And then the one over there is hooked up to my sub, so that one's called uh, the sub, the subwoofer, whatever. And then, so when I, because I have... Um, times where I don't want the sub on. So I will say, Alexa, turn on the subwoofer. 
and it will turn on or off the, didn't hear me, turn on or off the subwoofer. I've got it off right now. But it's, it's really nice, so I don't have to, you know, go turn everything on. All three or four things I have, it's just, I can just say it and it turns on. Here, recent investment, Marantz. 6009, 6009, whatever. It's a beast. I love this thing. Coming from a 5.2 channel um, weak um, Sony STR DH590. This thing, I love it. It's a tank compared to my other one. Um, got a really good deal on it. I paid like half price um, for what it usually goes for. Got a steal. But I love this thing. Um, still performs like it did when it came out eight years ago. Love it. Still satisfactory button movements as um, what the standard should be. 7.2 channel with 9.2 channel processing, 110 watts per channel, but I love this thing. Doesn't really have a scratch on it except for the back, but I love it. It's just to say that you own Marantz, not like that, but it's really nice just to own Marantz coming from a Sony. This is a wireless Apple Watch, AirPod Pro, or any AirPod that is wireless charging, and Apple, I mean, phone charger. <laughs> and I use this a lot. It's really nice. Um, I got a cord over there, too. But love that thing. Now to the speakers. What have you all have been waiting for? I have a pair of Klipsch RP600M bookshelf speakers. These things are, they're just awesome. I don't have a center channel, but if I did, it would sound awesome. These sound great. I mean, at times, like if I'm watching John Wick or something, at times, if there's somebody coming in the house, closing a door, I'll find myself pausing the movie. I'm like, did you just come in the house? And they're like, no. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that sounded so real. And I mean, they sound great. I mean, I, I'm trying to put up more acoustics. I just put this one up today. But acoustics really do change the sound of your theater. You can have great speakers in a horrible room, slap echo like it is on that side of the room, and it sound like cheap speakers, and you can have cheap speakers in a treated room and it sounds like a theater. I mean, it all acoustic is acoustics are really important. But I love these. I've had these for about a year. These are the um, wooden finish rather than ebony. I was going to get ebony, but I like these. That's ebony versus wood. But I think they look great. They sound great. And then these stands, I mean, obviously stands are important. A lot of people um, invest in their system and they forget the stands. These stands are about 80 bucks. Um, the speakers are about 350. You can really get, you can really save a lot of money if you get stuff renewed. All my speakers are renewed. They sound just as good as they would brand new. These are about 500, 600 bucks brand new. And I paid 350 for them. That sub is about 600, 550 brand new. I paid 290 for it because it's renewed. And it still sounds the same as it would brand new. You can save a lot of money by doing that, getting used stuff, renewed, but, and then that Marantz, I paid about 400 for it. It goes for about 850, 900 on eBay. But you, you really gotta hunt and um, can't make feisty decisions. It, it really pays off just to wait. But uh, that's my setup. I'm really happy with it. And then my screen, I almost forgot about that. Um, I have no idea what kind of screen this is. It is an off-brand. I, I, I've looked. I cannot find a name. But, I mean, it's fine. It's got some wrinkles in it. Um, but yeah, I've got Xbox Series S controller. This thing's really nice. And then Xbox One controller. 
and then obviously original Xbox One. And then Shang-Chi poster, and then these two panels are um, two inch thick ATS panels from Amazon. The um, These three, I guess you could count that four back there. These four um, acoustic sheets are Audi Mute, A-U-D-I-M-U-T-E acoustic sheets. They're about a hundred bucks on Amazon, not counting shipping. But um, yeah, I'm really satisfied with what I got. So there's my setup. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just did the demo of his two-channel system. We were watching some, some movies on it, and I'm actually personally impressed with how much sound is in here with two speakers and a subwoofer. His sub's a 10-inch. It's probably the weakest link in the system because it's not a huge room, but it's big enough to have maybe a 12-inch sub or a couple 10 inches or whatever and fill the space a little bit more. And So one subwoofer struggles to do that. So he's definitely looking to go to SVS because, of course, they're known to be some of the best subwoofers that you can get. He's thinking either a couple PV1000 Pros or maybe a PV2000 Pro. Uh, I told him to go dual, so if he can afford to go two PV1000 is better than getting one PV2000, but leave me a comment down below. Leave him a comment down below and let you uh, let him know what you guys think he should do. I think he should go two PV1000. If he has to go dual with something, uh, 1000s would be re really, really good. I had those back whenever I was starting to. So a really solid sounding system, to be honest with you. I personally haven't heard the, these Clips bookshelf speakers before, and he's actually being real generous enough to let me take these back home to my home theater and review them for you guys and put them on my channel, and then of course I'll, I'll give them back. <laughs> but he's, he's being a trooper and letting me do that. So we'll put these on the channel and, and, and listen to them. But fantastic home theater. He has a couple plans he wants to do. Uh, what he uh, has, what I have for him in my car, I'm actually giving him my projector screen. If you guys remember, Elite Screen sent me out their new, um, what is it, their acoustically transparent screens. They sent me out one of those, so of course I've been having two screens in my house, so why not give away somebody who let me into his home a nice projector screen to upgrade with. So I actually have that in my car. We're gonna put that together and put it up for him, but I also have a few other surprises for his home theater that he has no idea about. So we're gonna walk over to the car <laughs> and, and show him what we got for him. So let's go. So funny. <laughs> All right, guys, we were walking out to my vehicle. And I brought some stuff for him. He, he literally has no idea what's in here. He hasn't walked into the car yet. He knows that I'm giving him my old projection screen, but there's a couple other boxes inside here that we're gonna also give away to make his home theater even better. So let's go ahead and open that door. I'll tell you what you're gonna be looking at there. Yep. So there are three boxes. There are two boxes in the back seat. There's one box in the front. Actually, there's two boxes in the front, two boxes in the back. What you are picking up right now, if you can squeeze it out of there in my little car, there are subwoofers in these boxes. Really? There are OSD Audio Black 10 inch subwoofers and they are amazing. There are three of them. So we know that dual subs is good, four subs is incredible, get even bass. He has one sub in his house right now, we need more. So we're giving away three subs to him to put into his home theater so he can have some quality bass in his home until he's ready to upgrade to his SVS stuff, right? No problem. There's also some boxes in the front that I'll get out for you. There's some little boxes in there. There are four satellite speakers from OSD Audio 2. Because you only have two speakers, but you can't have a surround sound unless you have at least five. So now he's going to have surround sound behind his seating arrangement so that he can have a full sound system until he's ready to throw some money towards his clip setup. So what do you think about that? That's really awesome. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. So we're going to end the video here, guys. I'm going to I'm going to let him set up his projector screen and get his subwoofers inside and uh, when we see him again we'll see him on subscriber showcase with his newish setup guys so anything you want to say man before you get out of here i did not expect that <laughs> he did, didn't expect that i like it so we're gonna get out of here and go ahead and set this up for him so he can get on with his day thank you guys so much for watching thank you jp for allowing me to come over and do a home theater thank you to the family i'll tell them thank you when i see them for letting me come over and we'll see jp again for sure thank you guys so much for watching hit that subscribe button give jp's home theater a like and we'll see you guys in the next video. K-Face Guy out. Peace.